Hello and welcome. After World War II, the Australian Air Force realised that their obsolete P-51 Mustangs and de Havilland Vampire aircraft needed a replacement with more modern jet fighters. The 50 de Havilland Vampires ordered in 1946 were being retired in 1954. The Australian Government announced in February 1950 they would purchase 72 British Hawker P-1081 fighter aircraft to be built under licence by the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation, the CAC. This was news to the Board of CAC, especially given the 18-month schedule. The head of CAC, Lawrence Wackett, realised the proposed schedule was unrealistic. The design specifications of the P-1081 were not finalised, the prototype was yet to fly, and manufacturing infrastructure had yet to be completed. Wackett sent a party of CAC engineers to the Hawker factory in the United Kingdom and they saw the prototype P-1081 make its first flight in June 1950. They reported that the project was in difficulties with development delays. The Australian government decided to cancel that purchase. As well as visiting Hawker, the CAC engineers were also cultivating a relationship with Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce had bought shares in CAC in 1948 and Wackett considered this a great compliment and was keen to keep building their engines under licence. CAC was supplying the Rolls-Royce Neen for the Vampire and the licence eventually extended to the Avon engine for use in the newly ordered Canberra jet bomber. With access to a modern jet engine secured, Wackett turned his attention to an aircraft suitable for licensing. Hawker offered an alternative design, the F3, later named the Hunter, in place of the P1081. However, Wackett argued that as Australian deliveries of the F3 could not be effected before mid to late 1954, an American aircraft design should be considered instead. The Australian government remained firm on its requirement to purchase British equipment, and with nothing available, additional vampires and the Meteor were acquired to fill the RAAF's needs, particularly to counter MiGs in Korea. Dissatisfied with the state of affairs, Wackett continued to look at manufacturing a capable modern fighter for the RAAF. Wackett had experience in dealing with the North American Aviation Company through licensed manufacturer of the Wirraway and Mustang aircraft. Wackett determined that the latest product from the company, the Sabre, had the proven design and performance best suited to fulfilling the RAAF's fighter requirements. With no official backing from the Australian government, Wackett travelled to the United States to meet with representatives from the Pentagon and North American Aviation Plant in California. Receiving strong encouragement for the Sabre deal, Wackett worked to convince the Australian government of the Sabre's benefits. On return to Australia, Wackett, through the CAC, submitted a proposal to the Air Board for the licensed manufacture of the Sabre with the Rolls-Royce Avon engine. While the Air Board argued in principle, it wasn't until a phone call from Lord Hives of Rolls-Royce to the Minister for Air, Sir Thomas White, that the government became committed to the Sabre aircraft, announcing the purchase decision on the 22nd of February 1951. The CAC Sabre was based on the F86F model with the substitution of the General Electric J47 power plant with the Avon engine, the CAC knew that the airframe design would require major modifications. It fell to CAC's engineer Ian Ring and his team to make the amendments. A total of 268 engineering changes were made to the original F86 design to create the Avon Sabre prototype. The Avon engine was lighter and shorter, but had a greater diameter than the J47. The engine needed to be moved rearwards by shortening the rear portion of the fuselage by 66 cm and adding this amount to the front. The Avon provided more thrust than the J47, necessitating the enlargement of the air intake. Another significant change was to the armament. While the original F-86 carried 6.5-inch machine guns, experience in Korea proved this was inadequate. The CAC Sabre boasted newly developed Aden 30mm cannon, 
though these caused engine flameouts when first tested. Tests were carried out comparing the US made Sidewinder missile against the UK's Fire Streak missile in 1956 and 1957. The Sidewinder was selected. The first of 112 aircraft were handed over to the RAAF on the 30th of August 1954 and the last on 4th of August 1961. From 1958 to 1960, CAC Sabres of number 78 RAAF undertook several ground attack sorties against communist insurgents in the Federation of Malaya during the Malayan emergency. Following the emergency, they remained in Malaysia at Royal Malaysian Air Force Butterworth. Armed with sidewinder missiles, the Sabres were responsible for regional air defence during the confrontation between Indonesia and Malaysia from 1963 until 1966, though no combat took place. During the Vietnam War, Australian Sabres were based at Ubon in Thailand. The squadron never engaged North Vietnamese aircraft or ground forces. The RWF began re-equipping with the Dassault Mirage 30 in 1964. The last Sabres in Australian service, operated by No. 5 Operational Training Unit RWF, were retired in July 1971. The Sabre was replaced by the Government Aircraft Factory built Mirage 30 using components built by CAC. The CAC Sabre proved itself to be an, an excellent aircraft, if obsolete, by the late 1960s and marked a major milestone of aircraft manufacture in Australia. The CAC Sabre was Australia's first swept-wing, second-generation jet aircraft. It was capable of supersonic speed in a dive and armed with modern air-to-air -air missiles, it was considered to be one of the most capable variants of the F-86 aircraft. The relationship between CAC Rolls-Royce and North American Aviation was a portent of the progressive globalisation of civil defence industry. Aircraft of that era that were comparable to the Sabre were the Dassault Mystere 4, de Havilland Venom, Hawker Hunter, MiG-17, Republic F-84F Thunderstreak, Saab 32 Lanson, Sukhoi Su-9 and Supermarine Swift. Thank you for watching.